it's your girl Jasmine Marie and today I have my Sephora Vib Sale haul. I want to show you guys what I got for myself and for my kids so if you want to see what I got keep on watching but before we get into the video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn our notification bell and let's get into it. <laughs> get into it <laughs> so I'm a rouge finally well I've been rouge for about a year and it's my first time having that 20% off so I didn't go too crazy but I, you know I got a couple things for myself and a couple things for my kit you know because I'm going to be picking up pick, I'm going to be picking up doing um, my freelancing again so I really bought this for my freelancing kit, the Fenty Beauty, the under eye powder. This is what it looks like on the inside, it's so cute, comes with like a little puff. And then here it is right here, we take that little plastic case off, we don't care about that. But I saw a makeup artist use this, and the under eye is so flawless and blurred. So I definitely want to use this on clients to get that like nice snatch bright under eye. It doesn't, it doesn't make you look cakey at all. All skin tones can use this so that's why I put, I'm putting this in my kit because I know that it's going to go good for every skin tone but it's also going to be that nice blur under eye. So if you're at home and you still you know, you want a nice blur under eye, definitely recommend trying this powder out for sure. It's really good. Next thing I got, I got it for myself, the Makeup Forever Foundation, the HD Skin. I got a sample of it. I raved about it. If you saw me on Instagram, I, I had made like a whole post about it. People were like, you better be getting paid for this. I wasn't. But that's how much I love the foundation because it was just that good. I am in the shade 230. Um, this is what it looks like. Right here. And I wore it and it just, it stayed on really, really nice. I even saw people who had um, like more oily skin and it made their skin look radiant like as the oils came through it so it really works well if you have really oily skin because it really kind of gives you more like a radiant finish as your oils start to come through it doesn't make you look like you know oh my god I'm oily I have to blot it just helps control your oils to where like it just looks flawless it looks like more of a radiant finish and it's really really pretty that's what made me want to buy this even though I'm not oily I may get oily in my t-zone but I feel like it's just a perfect foundation. If you're more drier, you know, just hydrate beforehand and stuff like that, you know. Hello. <laughs> so the next thing I got is the Dr. Dennis Gross um, Daily Exfoliating Pads. I actually got the wrong one. I got the Extra Strength Formula, which I've been using the Sensitive Skin one, but I'm going to try these out and see how I like these. I might like these, but I'll return it. Um, but I don't use these daily. I use them more like once or twice a week just when I feel like I need it. Always follow with your sunscreen and stuff like that. But it's kind of like a chemical peel at home. You can't really mess it up. You just, it has two steps. I think I actually have a pad. It's a little dirty. But it literally comes like this. There we go. And it has a one step and a two step. And that's all you do. And then you're done. And it really helps if you have any hyperpigmentation, um, aging fine lines and stuff like that. It will really help to help keep the skin looking beautiful and young. So I definitely recommend this. This was $88. You get $35 for $88. They do have a sample. You have five treatments for $17. I got that last um, rouge sale to see how it went. And I bought it again because it's amazing. <laughs> Next up, up I'm re-upping on my, my Huda Beauty brow pencil because I bought this like a couple months ago. Not a couple months ago, but I've had it for like a... I bought it. It was a long time ago, y'all. And it ran out, but I never repurchased this. I'm like, it's a perfect time to repurchase it. I got it in the shade Rich Brown. If you saw my old um, YouTube tutorial, this is the pencil that I used. I haven't used this in a minute. And I was looking back at it. I was like, yo, my brow looks so good. So I had to buy it again so I can recreate the brow, my brow brows. But this is one of my favorite brow pencils to add. Like, this is my favorite. I want to try the Gwen Stefani ones next. So we're going to see. I'm going to buy the other one. We're going to compare which one. Next, we're going in with the Give Liquid Lipstick by Gwen Stefani. It's in the shade Original Recipe. Y'all, like, it's such a beautiful red. Gwen is known for her red lipstick, so I just had to get this because I saw a lot of people wearing it. I'm like, what are you wearing? I'm like, oh, Gwen Stefani Liquid Lipstick. 
It's amazing. It's the perfect red. Perfect red. I have like I have the Fenty Beauty one. I feel like they're very like you know similar, but I had to support Gwen and get it. You know what I'm saying? I had to try it out. It does. She does have like two other formulas. She has like more of a satin finish and more like a matte finish. Like two lipsticks. They're not lip lipsticks. So you know everybody can wear that red depending on like whether they like a regular lipstick or a liquid lipstick or a satin finish, matte finish, all that. But I would say when I see people wearing this, it doesn't look too dry. It looks, it just looks gorgeous. It's beautiful. So I have to get it. <laughs> Next up is my Danessa Myricks products. I got the Bomb Contour in Medium 3. Originally I got this for myself. But I think I'm going to put this in my kit and I'll just buy me for myself another one. Because I have my the one I like right now. And then also, I've been looking everywhere for this. Every Sephora that I've gone to in Houston doesn't have this. So I had to snag it. I got the last one. And it's just the black matte um, color fix. So I can use it for liners. I can use it for like many other things. Um, but if you haven't tried Danessa Myricks. Color fixes your you're missing out. If you haven't tried her bombs, if you haven't tried her yummy foundation and her original foundation, <laughs> you're missing out, honey. Go get it immediately. But yeah. So last couple things. The last couple things I'm gonna show you is my Sephora collection. I bought a lot of Sephora collection. So I bought this lips this lipstick for me. It is in the shade 02, which is like a really pretty beige color. Just coming for like another nude lip. You know me, my nude lips. These are micro soothe, micro smooth powders. It's just for my kit because this gives like a pretty, nice pretty blurring effect to the face. When I use face powders, I don't really use powders that are like super heavy foundation powders. I tend to use more lightweight, like you know, skin finish powders. Just to kind of blur everything and blend everything together. I don't really do nothing like too heavy with the powders. Every powder that I use is going to be super, super lightweight for the skin, but it kind of gives you that blurred effect and just that snatch effect. That's all I want, okay? So I got it in six colors. I got it in uh, toffee. I got it in bronze. I got it in sienna. And then I got it in mahogany. I got it in mahogany. In tan, which I think, um, I, don't, I think I'm. A, I used to be the shade tan before they relaunched the whole line, um, but I think now I'm gonna be more of the bronze. But I also have ebony as well. Anyway, okay, yeah, I just realized that Sephora they forgot to pack two of my powders. I'm missing beige and porcelain, so I'm gonna email them about that. But <laughs> that is what I got for my Sephora bib, bib sale. It's just some stuff to like restock for myself and for my kit. Cause I'm about to pop out with some makeup looks on other people. You're probably tired of seeing me. You probably want to see some other people. So I'm gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoy watching my haul. If you want some more hauls, so let me know. Y'all have a great day. Mwah.